This is a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell in Washington, and we are coming on the air with historic news. For the first time ever in American history, a former president of the United States has been indicted. This unprecedented case against Trump will have wide-ranging implications. This indictment, filed under seal by the Manhattan DA, could be announced in the coming days. It would also mean that Donald Trump would be asked to surrender and face arraignment on charges yet to be announced. It is all related to the hush money payment made to former porn star Stormy Daniels. Let's bring in our chief election campaign correspondent, Robert Costa, who broke this news for us here at CBS and has been talking to his sources. What have you learned? Good to be with you, Nora. This is a historic moment to have a former president indicted. This has been confirmed to CBS News by Trump's own attorney, Susan Nicholas. She has told CBS News the former president has been indicted. This is about hush money payments made in 2016 by his former fixer, Michael Cohen, to Stormy Daniels, the porn star. Under scrutiny is former President Trump's role in this entire operation. They've been talking to witnesses extensively in recent months, focusing especially on Michael Cohen and his testimony about Trump's role in this entire episode. Bob Costello, the former witness, one of the former lawyer for Trump, he has testified in recent weeks about this entire matter. He just told CBS News minutes ago that he will be, if there's a trial, someone who questions Cohen's credibility. So this could be a tough case for the district attorney in Manhattan, Alvin Bragg, to make, but he believes the evidence is there. And sources tell CBS News that Alvin Bragg, the district attorney, is not just relying on Michael Cohen's testimony, that he has been slowly and methodically building a case based on financial documents, personal correspondence, to tell a broader story, not just about Stormy Daniels, but about other so-called catch-and-kill operations to stop stories seen as unsavory from being published during a presidential campaign. Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan District Attorney, will now negotiate with Trump's lawyers to negotiate this surrender. Could that mean that the former president of the United States will be photographed and fingerprinted in the bowels of a New York state courthouse? Yes. While this is a highly unusual historic situation, our sources in the Manhattan District Attorney's office and in, in operations say that the former president would be brought in like anyone else who was indicted. We will see him surrender to authorities. Exactly how that plays out could be negotiated in terms of whether there's a so-called perp walk or seeing the former president in handcuffs. But he will be fingerprinted regardless of any negotiation. And there will be an arraignment in open court.